Hey you guys, so I'm back for day number 18 of my 30 day live Facebook challenge. And today's topic is to talk to you about something that we did not know or realize when we first started our career in real estate. Um, and there's probably a lot of things that I did not know and did not really realize until I got on the job and started getting like real life experience in the industry. Um, so I had to kind of search my soul to decide what I was going to share with you guys. And one of the things I decided that I wanted to share was the importance of um, networking and having a strong team of colleagues and um, local experts around you from everything from a knowledgeable title um, people to experienced mortgage lenders to realtors that you can work with and collaborate with that can help you you know so you understand well they can help you with showings or help you um, with negotiating skills and so much more um, also just you know having a network of inspectors everything from home inspectors to people that are gonna do like septic inspections and all of that good stuff and also um, mortgage lenders that are willing to help you know help explain the differences of different um, different mortgage types and all of that good stuff so I could go on and on about that topic but I definitely think that that's one of the big things in real estate that I did not realize when I first started I kind of thought that I'd just be able to jump in and you know I'm kind of a bookworm sometimes anyhow so I definitely thought I'd be able to just do a lot of it on my own and um, through the last couple of years I've really realized how important it is to have that vast network of people that you can communicate with um, like I said everything from lenders to title companies to other realtors to um, contractors you know whether they're people that do new builds or renovations or people that are roofers or painters because maybe the appraisal went wrong and you need someone to get in there and paint um, to yeah on and on and on so that's definitely something that I did not realize when I first started the real estate industry. And I am so glad that I've been able to build a strong network of people and some preferred vendors that I can share with you guys to help make your um, experience in real estate easier. Another thing that I did not realize when I got in real estate was the time commitment it would take and how time management would be like an essential part of it. I definitely thought that I would get in and that since I had a vast background in like um, sales and digital marketing I kind of figured that I would be able to work and I knew it would be hard work but I figured I'd almost be able to work part-time or just be able to you know put in my 40 hours and be done I've definitely learned over the you know last two years that uh, there's so much time management and time commitment that takes to being successful in real estate and that's where I think that within the first two years of real estate that that's why so many people fail out is because they just don't realize how much effort it really is going to take to be able to get successful and to start building your career. Um, something else I didn't realize is how much um, you would have to know about like the legal, um, whether it's stuff from local, state, and national legal um, requirements and how legal stuff changes. And so you always have to stay uh, up to um, date and make sure you're very knowledgeable and um, make sure you're prepared. And then I guess one of the last thing was just um, as much as I knew about financial stuff like getting in, I didn't realize all the different elements that would go into it. So I've definitely put a lot of time the last two years into learning um, different mortgage loans, um, different different programs, different down payment assistance programs, and connecting with people that are like, you know, accountants or financial advisors, so I can help guide you guys through that process. So those are a couple of the things that I did not realize um, that would be as difficult as they would be when I first started real estate. Hey mom, I think you just called me too. I see that you jumped on. I'll call you back in a minute. So that's my quick update for the day is just um, that I didn't realize how much of a vast network of professionals that you need around you and how much networking would help you on that right track, how much time management and um, time blocking and how much like overtime you do in real estate and uh, just you know the legal frameworks of it and the financial aspects of it 
So those are a couple things and please reach out with anything that you have questions about. I'd be love to like answer it and help you out about it, you guys. Sorry, I'm getting a little um, talking fast. But one of the things I want to mention to you is that tomorrow I'm planning to do an Ask Me Anything. I will jump on live and you can come ahead and just ask me anything, whether it's something about the real estate world, something that's, you know, PG related on my, real, on my life or stuff like that. So please join me and think of questions that you might want to ask and I'll be happy to answer them for you, answer them tomorrow. So it's been a great day. I'm about done for the day. I'm going to make some dinner. I was going to say lunch, but I'm going to make some dinner and relax. And that's what's up. So just sitting out here on my balcony. See, I got all my roses going and my other flowers. All right, you guys. Hope all is going well. Stay well, and we'll chat soon.